made my post or you know insta story everybody's like yo where is that place I in the airport early morning here in Orlando airport I'm checking right now but guys everybody's having a great morning so just landed in Miami we're actually going to be heading to Jamaica today. Pretty good morning so far. Um, so hopefully everything goes smooth on the next flight. And yeah, stay tuned. Now, I don't know about you guys, but uh, trust me, I have to have a morning coffee. Right now, I have about a two hour wait before the next flight. Hoping that everything goes very smoothly. I'm really hoping that the plane isn't packed as well. I'm going to show you guys exactly the step by step process of what it takes to get to Jamaica, especially in the pandemic. And yeah, hopefully it's good. Alright, so heading in right now. We just look, see you guys in Jamaica. Alright guys and welcome back. So it's been a few days since I've been in Jamaica. Been going pretty good so far and seeing how I'm here I thought it would be pretty cool if I just gave you guys a quick rundown of what it actually took to get here. There's a couple things you're going to need before you travel to Jamaica. Two things mainly. You're going to need a travel authorization which you're going to get from visitjamaica.com and you're also going to need a COVID-19 test. Now both have very strict timelines that you have to follow in order to make sure that it's valid. The first one being that you're going to need is the COVID-19 test. Now this test, it cannot be a rapid test. It has to be one of the PCR tests, the one that you insert through your nose on both sides. You can get that in any state. Uh, most of them, you can get them for free at any drive through testing center. It cannot be more than 10 days old. Now this is very important. If it's, if it's more than 10 days old, it's not gonna be accepted. When you get the test, you're gonna have to print it out and make sure that you walk with it when you go to the airport. Second thing, the travel authorization. You're gonna get a travel authorization on visitjamaica.com. Um, it's pretty easy to fill out. It's basically going to ask you standard information that you would normally give when you're traveling, especially for customs. It's going to ask you flight information, basically making sure that your ID matches everything that you're presenting. You haven't come, come in contact with anybody who has had the virus in the last couple of days. And you're going to fill that form out five days before your flight. Okay, so that's very important. Usually once you fill the form out, it only takes a few minutes for you to get back. They have changed the procedures over the past few months. So this time it's actually a little bit easier to get it. Before in the past, what I've seen them do, you have to upload your COVID-19 result to the website and then get it approved. That unfortunately took way longer than needed. For now, what they're doing is making sure that you just bring the test with you and then get the travel authorization. So it's pretty simple as that. When you get to the airport, you're going to need to present both your travel authorization and your COVID-19 result. You won't be allowed to board the plane without it. And also when you land to Jamaica, you're going to have to present it to them as well. When you get to the gate on arrival, you're going to have to fill out your name and also your temperature. Now they gave me a little white paper that I'm going to show you guys right here. Fill in the name, fill in your temperature, and then you're going to proceed to the next checkpoint. And on the next checkpoint, you're going to have some Jamaica soldiers who are going to basically inform you that you need to download the COVID-19 app. Now, this COVID-19 app is basically intended to monitor you while you're in the country. So whether you're coming for vacation or business or whatever, it's going to help monitor you and you're going to have to submit daily check-in reports now this check-in report is just to make sure that you're in quarantine and you're in the location and that your symptoms have been remaining stable you're going to submit a temperature report and also a location report now this is just to make sure that you're following the guidelines that they've set in place okay and i have to really commend jamaica for their excellent job in handling the pandemic so far um, they've really been going above and beyond with trying to make sure that everybody is safe and secure um, even though the numbers are increasing, um, I think it could have been way worse if these measures weren't in place. So I'm happy for that. And yeah, that's basically the quick rundown of what you guys need to get down into Jamaica. Now, back to the vlog. 
all right guys so we're finally ready to go this is my girlfriend crystal she's gonna be in the vlog this week we're gonna have some great adventures ready to go yep all right let's do it So, if it's a bit of bad weather on the way, um, we're about 20 minutes out right now. Still looking pretty good so far. Just want to take our time to get there as, as easy as possible. Kind of hungry. Uh, can't wait to be there. How many words for the camera? I'm really hungry. <laughs> yeah, so as soon as we get there, we're going to grab some food, check in, and get right back to it. So, stay tuned. Checking right now, it's all settled in. So far, so good. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we just got there. They're making me feel special today. So, right now, I'm about to head to the room, just finished checking in. Okay. Alright, good morning everybody. So it's a beautiful decent day, kinda overcast. Just woke up, about to head to breakfast. Uh, last night when we got in. Uh, yeah, last night when we got in we were super tired, so we're just gonna say and just ate and went straight to bed. Um, today we're gonna try and explore the hotel, see what it has to offer and hopefully try out some more food as usual. <laughs> Woo! All right, so all right, big big question. So how you feel about the hotel so far? Um it's nice. I love the pool, I love the room. Um I just think because of the whole covid situation, you know, it's just kind of dead. Yeah. But you know, we're here so I have to make the best of it. Yeah, we're definitely going to make the best of it right now. All right, so just decided to check out the two restaurants that they have for breakfast this one right here is a privilege lounge um, that's only for the VIP members everything here is done to order and it's more specialty so they have a mixture of American and Jamaican and also they have a buffet which is what we're going to go to now because the buffet just has a little bit more variety that we like so I'm gonna check it out and hopefully it goes good I know this one is super hungry, so I, I won't even ask for her commentary yeah, just yet. Like, you know, Titana T was saying anything. <laughs> hungry, bad man. Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, the weather is holding up. So far, so good. Let's go eat. So, so far, so good. Food is on point. Don't really have any complaints. We have um, omelets, bread, curry fish, stew chicken. Yeah, typical Jamaican so. Yeah, she's about to go in the lazy river. I'm not about to try it. I don't like cold water. So. Ready? Ready. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go do it now. Alright guys, so we know it wouldn't be more to do without showing you guys at least some cars. 
Nice little Civic right there. Yeah, nice little Civic. Nice little stamps. Very cool. Hey right, guys, so it's night time, heading to dinner right now. Been a super long day, um, but overall hasn't been too bad. The rain could have made things a little bit better. It was kind of raining in the afternoon, so we didn't really get to do many activities. Um, but we're still gonna make the best of it tonight. We're gonna have a nice Italian dinner. Really looking forward to the dinner. Yeah, and then afterwards we're gonna go bowling. So once we're able to do that, I might show you guys a little bit of the hotel at night time. So stay tuned. get some breakfast and enjoy the last couple of hours of our day you know so we're heading to breakfast we're gonna try the privileged lounge everything's done to all of so might as well switch it up compared to the buffet just to see the difference So, okay. we've really had a good time here and we've come to the end of our trip. So, just wanted to do a quick review yeah, mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. the entire experience and basically just talk about, you know, things that we liked and things that we didn't like. So, we're going to start with, food. with the food. Alright, for me personally, the buffet wasn't as good as I thought it could have been very limited choices as far as restaurants and very limited choices as far as what was in the buffet for me the burgers were really really good i did like the burgers but 
the general buffet food could have been a little bit better everything was kind of like bland all right so now we're at the buffet definitely a step above the previous buffet that we went to before the one that we went to before was red snapper this one is called uh, martha's market i believe um large variety of food definitely a big improvement compared to yesterday right now i'm having some chicken alfredo tastes really good flavors there um yeah and overall they definitely stepped up the game today unfortunately it's the last day we're here we're not going to be able to enjoy it after this but good ending impression especially for the food so thumbs up for that the food was okay but it wasn't like the best and i feel like whenever i would order something it was just lacking spices like i would constantly have to eat up request for salt and pepper and then another thing we went to a really nice restaurant i would say it's the they had the best food uh -huh. it was an italian restaurant and it was so good but there was moments when i got my meal and the food was cold so i don't know yeah. what is the issue you know if that if the dough well because they're just opening now if they're still trying to tweak certain things you know but just simple thing like it, you're serving the food it should be hot yeah. you know i felt like it was just what kind not cold yeah, it was but just it was like lukewarm. yeah lukewarm yeah, the, soup, the, right. soup, the soups for sure could have been a little bit warmer the pasta at the italian restaurant was very good mm -hmm. i had like a chicken parmesan and you had the lasagna yeah i think it was pretty good and for lunch yesterday i had curry fish and that was amazing i think that's my favorite thing that i had here yeah, we tried out the privileged breakfast this morning. That was super good as well. Much better than the buffet that we had yesterday for mm -hmm. breakfast. So the next thing is service. Now, we are privileged members. The check-in was completely different. We went to a different area for check-in. We have the option of dining somewhere different than everybody else. And the, the quality of the food to me personally is different over the privileged side versus just the regular buffet yeah right everything is done to order over the privileged section um they have their own menu they're open a little bit later because i think the, the regular buffet closes at 10 30 while privilege goes up until 11. the service i like that they call and they ask you know how is the experience how is this you know you call and tell them okay well there is no soap there is no toilet is to call them and they try to fix it the, the issue right away yeah. but i think there was moments in my experience personally where they were like a little bit intrusive you know like we'll be in the room and they knock them just knock once and then they use the the universal key and just go in yeah like what if we were naked that. what if like you know you, you don't do that you knock or yeah you, you request front desk to even call they can't they did that not just once but i believe twice or three times yeah yeah that was a little bit of a deal breaker for me because you know again we could have been naked in the room could have been anything like this morning one of the housekeepers she didn't even knock she just came right in and i'm like you know what the hell so we that, get that you have to do maintenance checks and such yeah. i really appreciate that you know but there's a time and place you know there's a time that you do that yeah. you know what I, what my recommendation is that they should let front desk call if they're not getting anybody in the room then they send the person there you know which would be a true indication that we're probably by the pool or we're not in the room but yeah. bright and early morning you can just barge into somebody's room like that like thankfully we were sleeping we could have handled it a little bit better um other than that the, the workers throughout the hotel property um, very nice very respectful very, very attentive very helpful friendly. yeah Pe for sure yeah the entertainment staff is very Can't good as well complain they're very very nice service yeah. is on point so the next topic we want to touch on is the ambience and definitely the hotel does not fall short as far as ambience beautiful decor yeah. amazing modern i love it i love the rooms I love the pool area. Yeah, definitely a lot of um, plants, trees. Abundant green spaces. Yeah, there's nice water. I'm going to show you guys a shot of the um, swimmer pool that we have for the room. Um, very aesthetically pleasing. And then there's lights in the nighttime that lights up the pool. That was very nice. So, overall, 
would I come back to this hotel? Yes, I feel like if and when we get control of this pandemic and things somewhat get back to normal, I feel like it has definitely has the potential to be a very, very good hotel and experience for people. I see us coming back. Yeah, I would um, definitely, I would definitely point to what you said. I would definitely come back for sure. Um, but it's just those small little kinks. If they really address um, the quality of the food at the buffet, having all the amenities open and making sure that the rooms are actually clean, then yeah, they should be fine. But wait, we're not saying it was dirty, you know, like you go in there, there's garbage in there. It's just, I we definitely saw the difference of when we went there first and then the next day when room service actually came and did a thorough cleaning yeah. you see the difference between when we first got it and i felt like the second day was way cleaner than when we went the first time yeah last thing i wanted to point out room service was decent most orders when you order it takes about 20 to 30 minutes so they were pretty reasonable with the waiting times and then you know when they came with the food everything was already packaged in a bag and everywhere had the sanitizing dispensers. Yeah, they right? had, had, had sanitizer. Right, day. and on arrival, you got your own amenity kit, COVID amenity kit with like masks and other stuff there. Everyone in the resort had on a mask. No one did not have on a mask. Yeah. Everyone had on a mask. I would say the only people who didn't have on a mask was the performers and you know them them a tumble boom flick and a split in the air like obviously them not gonna have on a mask <laughs> obviously them not gonna have on a mask you know when i make my posts or you know insta story everybody's like yo where is that place i i'm not going to in the life i saw somebody posted pictures and stuff i'd be like yo where is that place because when you come here you don't feel like you're in jamaica it just look completely different you look like you feel like you're there far in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tips. I recommend that when you come, ensure that you bring your mosquito spray. Yeah. Because my barn and grow Jamaica, I mean, I tell you no lie. I must say something about my skin. But them mosquitoes are like fresh meat, boys. Anything else? Um, yeah, just make sure that if you guys have a special request, whether it's for a birthday, whether it's for Oh, yes, uh, a I bed, a specific bed or something. Make sure that you call ahead of time to confirm that all of those things are done. Alright all right, guys, so I hope our little review of the hotel gets to give you guys some type of idea as to the overall experience. Definitely, if you guys have any other questions about the hotel that you want to know, um, leave some comments down below. Please make sure if you like the video, smash the like button, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see Crystal in more videos as well. Of course. And you guys love me, right? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, thanks again guys. And tune in for more videos. We out. Love y'all.